Well, good morning. Um, we're out at East Morden. Now, for those of you that uh, are wondering where on earth East Morden is, we're about six miles northwest of Poole. It's a little village or hamlet uh, on the Bear Regis Road, or oh, just off the Bear Regis Road. It's a quintessential English hamlet. And there's a little walk around a pub that we've been to a very, very often called the Podcock and Bottle uh, at East Morden. And um, last night, if you believe the forecasters, it was minus eight. So this is a, um, a, a definite winter's walk. It's now, we're still below freezing, but I thought it'd be lovely to do a lovely little winter's walk. It's uh, nearly Christmas. It's the 10th of December today. And... Um, what a great day to go and see a bit of the countryside uh, in all its glory. It's a beautiful, sunshiny day. It is just a bitterly cold. So, uh, not quite sure of the route. We're going to find our way around a little bit, so we'll see where we end up. But it's uh, going to be, I don't know, maybe four miles, something like that. But uh, it's more just to capture the beautiful scenery and, and where we are today. And uh, it is just a, a beautiful, beautiful winter's day. It really is. And... Uh, and I'll flip the camera around and show you a, a view of the pub, which is just behind me now. Okay, this is where we're walking. Uh, that's the pub. And uh, we're going to walk up here on this road and hope we're going to find a path off to the left in a minute and uh, start walking the country. So I'll pick it up when we're, uh, when we're out on the paths. So we've just come off the uh, road and walked up a track. Uh, heading into the countryside so uh, this track in the wet season can get extremely muddy and uh, this is a beautiful walk in the winter and it's just as lovely in the summer for a pub lunch or sitting in the beer garden hmm. a bit muddy now as well so uh, this, this path eventually i believe comes to a road but uh, as I said earlier on, I'm not entirely sure of the route today. We're just going to uh, mosey along. And I'm going to see if I can remember where I'm going. And if not, I'll, uh, I'll use my failing sense of direction. I'll make my, my wife laugh. Okay, so along here. And uh, heading towards the road. And there we are. There's the, over there you see the... Uh, the parish church of Morden, and that tower is uh, 13th century. It uh, has a field all covered in frost and ice, and it is not getting any warmer. Well, it's uh, hardly the first time where the path has been blocked off and tried to come a different route, so I've just had to veer off the path up here and uh, through that bit of barbed wire fence and to join this track which i sort of remember and uh, we go along here and then uh, hmm not sure what we do after that but we'll have a look um oh, gorgeous i mean not a not a sound absolutely lovely i think everyone else is out christmas shopping and very good luck to them well, it's a lovely scene. Uh, if it was a uh, smell of vision, you'd also get the aroma of a well used cattle shed. Hello. Hello. <laughs> the young heifers. I'm being watched. Mm. Time to move on. <laughs> So, little minor road here, take a turn to the left. And again, I'm doing this walk by memory mainly. And uh, there's a bridle path here. And uh, I believe we go down here, around some fields at some point, start to hang to a left. But um, I don't really know. I've not got a decent map with me. It's hardly, uh, and now we can get lost. 
Um, you never know. I might end up remembering the whole lot, we'll see. But uh, this is one rotted track. And um, as you can see, there is frost everywhere. So, uh, oh yes, I think this gate comes along to a great big field. And then I think you've got to walk diagonally across it. And there's a big tree in the field. Let's see if I'm right. It's got to be, oh, goes me, at least 70 years since I did this walk, so things that will have changed as I found out just now but uh, this bit is starting to ring a few a few bells let's go and have a look footpath sign here and there's, there's the oh there's some deer ah wow that's uh, that's great yeah, here's the style and we head off her hose down there. Yeah, there there's a deer running. Oh, they're big deer as well. There they are down there. Just gone into the trees. Wow, that was, uh, that was great to see. Okay, we're gonna head down there to the bottom of the field. So the tracks go this way, but I'm pretty sure that style in the fence down there, which we can just about see, is where I should be going. That means going straight across the field, which is what I remember us doing. So, this is where we're going to find out just how waterproof my boots aren't. Because this is the absolute, apart from walking through a river, this is the absolute best test for how good your boots are, i.e. long, wet, in this case, very cold grass. Now I'm going to put the camera down because the last time I, I walked through long grass on a field um, I did actually go up end over what's it um, and I guess at one point I'll have all my bl bloopers in one place but I prefer not to do it again today so uh, I'll pick it up and down the bottom well again what a lovely what a lovely countryside scene and setting no one around just me, the camera, and you, and the book Dorset countryside. Now, having said it's just me, I just picked up some recent footprints, so I've been following those down to this uh, gate down here. On this anonymous field, and you just got to look for the gate in the corner, and there it is over there. Now, again, as I remember, this leads up onto a open onto a track that. Uh, I think it goes through a shooting area, i.e. ground shooting and the pheasant shooting area. And we'll see if my memory is correct or indeed if the path is still still there. And uh, the uh, update on the boots is actually they're doing pretty well. Um, even they're about 35 years old now. And mainly a Gorilla Glue. Back on the track, I remember this track very well. Yes, yeah, so I have actually bought some new boots, um, gradually wearing them in, just in case these ones do finally give out. Okay, well, let's go up here and see what's at the top. So, we've turned off left. And again, I more or less remember this path. Uh, because when it's been raining very hard, it's pretty much a river. I'm not quite sure what comes at the end of it, but uh, I do remember it being a very muddy path in the past. And uh, we'll see. So we've come to this uh, bit of a junction, walked up the path there from that big field where we saw the deer. And uh, this bit is a bit more organised than we were last here, because when we were last here, I think we walked up almost directly towards those farmhouses over there. Now the path directly right across this field. You can see the very well-defined path going right across. So uh, I think we go up there. That's about the limit of our, uh, if you like, walking away from the car. I think we start to turn left. But uh, I honestly, and remember this as I go along, which is part of the fun. Uh, and uh, look at that. Look at this. 
Isn't that gorgeous? Where would you prefer to be? Just marvellous. Still, that went to Norwood. Well, that path did in fact turn into a river. So uh, the uh, the night air had been had been protected from it, I think, from all the trees and undergrowth. So that was just a muddy river, which you'd uh, really want to expect on a winter's walk. But the boots are doing all right today, surprisingly. Uh, and uh, in terms of the, the route, we've just come turn left. I can't say I remember much of this, so I am absolutely following my nose. It's not, it's not a marked foot, footpath, um, but at the moment my recollection is, well, I more or less remember this, um, but I'd be honest to say, I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure we're going in this sort of direction because we're going, I feel like we're doing a sort of box. I think we're now at the uh, the far reach of the box and we start to head sort of back towards the uh, the pub and the where the car is in a while. And I remember the last bit of the walk. I remember the first bit of the walk. And I also remember a few bits in between, but I only when I get there. So that's it. That's part of the joy. Can't get lost. Easy walking and a staggeringly beautiful day. And uh, like we saw those deer early on, you just never know what is round at the next corner. And that is part of the joy. Now, up there, I have just seen a buzzard. Now, you probably can't see it because I can't either. If it moves, hopefully we'll see it. Well, sadly, the buzzard is just well too camouflaged. What a shame. And uh, mind you, this is hunting ground. Some enormous property down there. And we just walked from uh, from down there into the sun. So, how are we doing? So we've come down uh, this sort of wooded track um, and these paths have actually been very well signed. Far better than last time I was here. So, um, reassuringly, again, I have a memory recovery, I remember this. And uh, we follow this uh, well, almost farm track now, uh, down the hill and through there. Um, so it's reassuring to think that uh, I'm going the right way. That would most definitely be the wrong way. That'd be taking us, I think, more or less due west. And we want to be going more or less in a uh, southerly or southwesterly direction. So this is good. We're going in the right direction. Wonderful. So, we come out of that track. You can just about discern. <laughs> and uh, come across this signpost. Uh, we've been on the Wareham Forest Way, apparently. Label Stedman's and Marshall. Left is uh, East Mordham and we're in Forest Way again where we park the car. And this is now a metal road, minor road. Um, and we're going to come down towards uh, East Morden. And if my memory serves me correctly, this takes us through a little bunch of houses and into the back of Morden eventually. So we're getting towards the end of our little uh, excursion this morning. So it wasn't going to be a long walk. Uh, I think uh, this time of year, an hour or so, just out in the fresh air does you a power of good. So uh, my memory has been pretty good so far, so I'm quite pleased with myself. And there's a pheasant down there. And uh, hopefully I'll uh, get it right for the last bit. We will see. Just uh, heading into uh, what I think is West Morden now. And uh, here's the parish church we saw earlier on. 
So it was rebuilt, I think, in the 1700s. But that tower is from the 13th century. And you see the, uh, the newer bit and the older bit. And uh, one of those places got iconic standing in, this, in the uh, surrounding countryside. Just stands out beautifully. Now, actually, that is the uh, normal way back to the uh, to the car, to the pub. Just gonna have a quick look at the church, I think, while we're here. Why not? So, uh, we're in the uh, epicenter of East Morden. And uh, I'm just standing in front of the, well, it's St. Mary's Church. Uh, I'm not going to go in today because there's an event going on I've been prepared for, so uh, we shan't go in, but I thought it'd be fun to have a quick, a quick look round. And uh, just see the church in all its glory. It is a wonderful setting on a hill that everyone can see. <laughs> wee, wee, wee. Fantastic, what a place. And stillness, absolute stillness. So this is the uh, last bit of the walk. Uh, just walked a little bit back from the church. We turn left off the main road and the main road is a side road. And this just takes us, um, just lost an interesting little route. And the other road is a little bit busier than this one, so that's why it tends to come this way. Um, none of the roads around here are busy. Uh, this is just a bit nicer. And uh, it comes out on the, pretty much uh, on, the, on the road where we started, but it's, uh, it is so quiet. And uh, I'm still all, uh, there we go, the footpath sign, so we picked up the footpath again. And just a nice way to finish on a footpath rather than on a road, which is always preferable. Going around here, and then we come along here, exactly as I remember. And uh, off we go down here. So, uh, just been chatting to a very nice local lady who uh, lived here for the last 35 years. Um, she's just telling me that uh, a lot of the properties here are actually owned by the Drax estate and actually rented, so it's very difficult to um, to live here. And of course, the, the Drax if you like, uh, estate um, is just outside Wimborne. Uh, it's known by the locals as a big, uh, a very big wall surrounding it, and I think there's a, a deer on the entrance, big, big old monument. Um, but you can see why people would want to live out here, it's just so attractive, and actually, um, in terms of amenities, not that far from pool. Um, and uh, generally, apart from the odd, the odd van, um, roads are very quiet. So, uh, anyway, I really hope uh, you've enjoyed this winter walk with me. It's been an absolute delight being out in these uh, very frosty but very bright conditions. And uh, Hopefully, uh, this is a, a captured a quintessential English winter scene and walk uh, around Morden. I will try and leave a bit of a <coughs> route map uh, at the end. It has been uh, me following my nose and remembering where the route was, which has worked out actually very well indeed. Um, but it's one that, say, it's, it's only an hour and a quarter, of that, but it's just a lovely little walk and. Uh, so close to the Cock and Bottle pub, you want a beer afterwards or, or a meal. They always used to serve lovely food. Um, so I really hope you get the chance at some point to come out here and uh, follow the route and enjoy it and uh, have a beer or a meal or both in the, uh, in the pub afterwards. So uh, again, thanks ever so much for joining me. Lovely having your company and uh, see you again soon.